Let's try something a little different. I got this box right here that my buddy Theo Kellison sent to me. We're gonna open it up for all of you to see as well. Theo has a YouTube channel where he does a bunch of rock hounding up in Montana, and he sent me this huge, giant care package from what he tells me is full of really, really awesome stuff. So I'm super excited to get into this. This is gonna be an extra video on the channel this week and all that good stuff because it is a lot different from anything I've ever done before. But if you all enjoy stuff like this, let me know in the comments below and we'll have to, we'll have to do a little bit more of these rock and fossil unboxings from good friends who like to send cool stuff. I'm gonna have to send Theo some stuff in return as well. Um, but I don't know, I'm super excited to see what he's saying. He said there's some polished stuff in here and all kinds of cool stuff. And this box is, it's heavy. It's a really heavy box. So I'm excited to get into it. I'm gonna set this thing down and we're gonna get it opened up and see what's in here. As you can see, this box has a hard time fitting on this screen of mine. Come on, baby. There we go. Okay. Move that out of the way now that I got it open. There's a note. Let's take a look at it. Dear Kyle, hello my friend. I took it upon myself to make some cool things for you, but thought to myself, why stop there? The following is a small sample of fossils and rocks that the wonderful Treasure State has to offer. Everything is numbered and identification sheet has been included, so you can know what you're looking at. I would have sent more, but I ran out of room in the box. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Thank you for being yourself and being such a huge inspiration for me. You're a little, you're a literal rock star, my friend. Sincerely, Theo Kelson. P.S. Sorry, my handwriting sucks and my printer is broken. I prefer handwritten letters, so thanks, buddy. I appreciate that very much. And right here, we actually have the checklist of things that are sent here. Oh, I'm not gonna, we're not gonna, we're not gonna get too far ahead of ourselves. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start pulling this stuff out. We're just gonna start pulling this stuff out. We're gonna go through it in order. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, bum, bum. Look at all this stuff. This is amazing. This is gonna be awesome, guys. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this stuff organized by number real quick, so I don't have to do that all on camera, and uh, then we're gonna start opening it up and seeing the cool treasures within. Let's do it. Check it out, everybody. I got it all in order. Dude, props to Theo for ordering all this stuff and making it just way more fun to open that way. And if you look right here on the back, 15, open these last with a star. So it doesn't even say what those are, so I'm excited to see what those things are right there. Okay, I'm gonna set the camera back down and let's get to opening, starting with number one. All right, so you can see here, number one is going to be Baculite's Bearpaw Shale, species of ammonite calcified. One is ammonite bearing, mid-late Cretaceous, 90 to 70 million years old. That is amazing. We got three right here. Let's see what we got. Oh, I'm excited about this. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is so gorgeous. Let's get a little closer. Look how beautiful that is, man. That is sweet. And he polished it up too, sweet. Oh, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful calcite in it. Are you kidding me? That is ridiculously beautiful. Let's get into this next one. Come on, baby. Oh, look at it. Look at that pattern. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look, it's got like almost like a different colors in there and stuff like that. They look so good polished. Man, what a beautiful fossil. Next. Oh, oh man. Just look at that. They just look so good. Dude, Theo, you rule, man. Thank you so much. Okay, on to number two. All right, number two. Sorry if I'm having a hard time reading this stuff, y'all. I'm reading it through the camera. I know ceramid clams. After seeing all of the clams you hunt for, I thought you might like to see the ones we have in Montana. Bear paw shale, ammonite bearing, mid, -late to, Cretaceous, mid to late Cretaceous. 70 to 90 million years old. Oh, okay, I see it. Yeah, so 70 to 90, 90 to 70 million years old. Sweet. Okay, let's open them. First one of two. Oh, God. 
I'm trying. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, snap, look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. Wow, look at the color on there. That is such a cool clamshell. This is, like, older than anything that we can find in Florida, because in Florida we get stuff up to around 55 million years old. Nothing that's Cretaceous. That's the age of the dinosaurs, man. Ugh. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, look at that, wow. Are these piratized? Man, that is beautiful. I am just blown away at these. That is sweet. Okay, let's see this. Oh, yeah, man. What a beaut... These are just... These are just incredible, y'all. I can't get enough of that. Wow. This is really exciting. This is extremely exciting. I love this. I love this very much. These are such cool. I'm not going to be able to compete with this, dude. I want to send Theo some cool stuff, but man, this stuff is cool. On to number three. Three ammonites. A death plate of... <laughs> I can't read that word right there. And fish scales, early Cretaceous. 3B, calcified. Oh, I'm not even going to try. Late Cretaceous. And 3C, concretion. Seophyte and baculite and enocaronid. Late Cretaceous. Yes. Okay, we're going to go in order. 3A, 3B, 3C. 3A is right here. So this is a death plate of... <laughs> the word I can't read. And fish scales. Okay, this is exciting. Oh, dude. This is sweet. Oh, it's a little fragile. Okay, you can see all the fish scales and stuff in there. That is sick. Let's go to 3B. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, sweet. That's cool right there. So 3B was calcified. Hollow lights Late Cretaceous. I don't, I don't even know what that is. Oh, ho, ho. oh, look at that. It's an ammonite. I wish I could read these words better. I'll learn them. That is awesome. Okay, and 3C. Ugh. Me strong, Kyle. Oh, dude, no. That is, that is cool. Let's get a little closer on there. Focus on it, baby. Whoa, look at that ammonite. Oh, my gosh. I'm coming to Montana. I'm coming to Montana, Theo. And I'm going to come hunt for this stuff. That is amazing. Okay, let's get on to four. Four. Amylite, the fossilized pearl layer of ammonites, sealed to prevent oxidation, prepped for use in jewelry. If you ever want these turned into a pendant or ring, get a hold of me. Oh man, sweet, I might have to do that for sure. Okay, so we're going to open regular four first. Ah, oh, there's a mosquito on me, help. Come on. Oh, oh, dude. Do you all see how beautiful that is? Oh, that's incredible. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. That, oh, I mean, I could stare at that forever. Look how beautiful that is. Man, that is killer. Okay, let's see what 4A is. Very fragile. And I might be able to get a pendant made out of this. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, no. What have you done, Theo? Dude, you've got to be kidding me. Do y'all see... How absolutely beautiful that is. Oh, I am mesmerized, dude. Theo, you rule. You're amazing. Dude, y'all give Theo a big thanks in the comments, and y'all go subscribe to Theo's channel because this is incredible. I'm definitely going to have to have him make some pendants out of these, and maybe I'll give one away on the channel or something like that. I think that would be cool. I, I can't, I'm sorry guys, I can't stop staring at that. I'm going to put those back in there safely because they are fragile and I'm getting demolished by a mosquito as we speak. Let's get to five. Bear Canyon, oh my gosh, Bear Canyon agates. A rare form of agate found only in a 10 mile radius within Montana, prized for their black and white fortification patterns, druzy and quartz geodes. Are you kidding me? Ah! Okay, let's take a look. Okay, I'm super excited about these. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Y'all. 
Do you see it? Oh, look at the Druzy in there. Hold on a second. I got an idea. This is my cellular device right here. We're going to just shine some light in there. Oh, look at that. Black and white Druzy. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Okay, I'm going to leave my phone right here so I can light up all the other ones. There's a mosquito on me. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, dude. Look at that. How's this one looking the light? Oh my gosh. Look at those Druzy quartz crystals. Is that not just beautiful, y'all? That is sweet. Okay, let's get... All right, we're going to open the big boy five last. So we're going to open this one now. Come, Oh, my. Woo! There we go. No, we got to get closer to that. Let's just zoom in a wee bit. Look at that, y'all. That is just incredible. Let's open the big boy five right here. <sighs> I, oh, I'm scared of this one. This one's scary in a good way. Oh, check that out. Wow. Look at that Druzy in there. Dude, I, I gotta go to Montana. Y'all y'all gotta let me know in the comments below. You want me to go to Montana? Because I'm about to go to Montana. And we're gonna find some amazing stuff there. I can, I, I guarantee it. This is seriously way too much fun, y'all. If you are enjoying it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Let me know in the comments below if you don't mind seeing more videos like this. I don't actually think I would really do this as like a main video for the week, but as an extra video, I feel like why not? It's some really cool stuff and uh, you know, every once in a while when I get a package or something sent to me, I'll open it up and y'all will be able to see what's inside the package as well. Also, don't forget to give Theo some love. I'm going to drop a link to his channel down in the description below. Y'all can go subscribe to it and check him out and see him find all this really cool stuff. Let's keep opening and see what else we got. So moving on now, if we get to six, oh, wood, high-grade carboniferous agatized wood, six and six A. All right, let's see what's in these. Dun, 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 dun. This is this is seriously way too much fun, y'all. It's like, oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Carboniferous agatized wood. I bet that stuff would look insane polished. That is really cool. All right, we're going to save the big one for last on this one, too. Let's see what this guy... Oh, this one looks pretty cool through the thing already. Yeah, check that out. That's a neat piece right there as well. Oh, now let's see what the big boy looks like. Ugh. You know, this is a lot harder to do than y'all think. I've seen so many unboxing videos. Props to them because this is like difficult to open this stuff with your arms stretched out in front of the camera. Oh, shoot. That's really cool. Dude, it is agatized as heck. Like that is like, that's just really solid stuff right there. Oh man. All right, what we got here? Number seven, Gry Gryfe oysters, early to mid-Jurassic oyster fossils, known locally as devil's toenails. Okay, that sounds cool. So that's seven. We got a couple of them. Oh, we got a big chunk of them or something right there. So let's go with this small one. Devil's toe. I think I've seen these before. Oh, yes. Look at that. Those are so cool. Let's get a little closer on them. Yeah, those are sweet. I've always seen these and thought they were like very, very cool. Those are so awesome. That is nice. Okay, I'm excited to see what this big chunk is because I get the feeling that this is going to be a bunch of them stuck in the matrix. Oh, and it is. <laughs> Look at that. Dinosaur aged fossils. That is just way too cool right there. That is amazing. Number eight, Bellum Knight. Hard-shelled squid, early to mid-Jurassic. I've seen these before, these are really cool. Oh, we got a big one too. I can already see it through there. Okay. Oh, that is really cool, look at that. A Bellum Knight shelled squid, early to mid-Jurassic period. What a cool fossil. That is awesome. 
nine fossilized coral my bad can't remember the species name lol there are early cretaceous specimens found very occasionally along the yellowstone i see number nine baby Blech. oh that's cool look at that that's really gorgeous i like that a lot i love the way it feels it's a very nice smooth texture i wish y'all could feel it through the camera very nice 10. Gypsum selenite. Some very cool crystals found in conjunction with fossil exposures, sometimes referred to as ice. Stick it underwater and it becomes clear as glass. Oh, that's interesting. Gypsum selenite. Let's check that out. <laughs> Before we open 10, look what I just did. Look at this. Okay, you see? Yeah, y'all see that? Y'all see that right there? Oh, God, don't get me. Okay. <laughs> what is it? The oh, tussock moth caterpillar and they will sting you. And they're all, they're all over my backyard right now, which is why he one found his way on this already, apparently. And now I'm a little freaked out, but I'm just gonna well, I'm just gonna move him. I'm gonna I'm just gonna get you here. You crawl yourself up on this little sticky. There you go. All right, let's get a closer look at him. The tussock moth caterpillar, right there. They will sting you, and if you're allergic, it could be bad. So. I'm going to set him down in the grass over here. Well, that was scary. I could have grabbed that, and that would not have felt good if I grabbed that in the wrong spot. But, oh, dude! Look how cool those are. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, those are really beautiful. I bet if I shine a light through it, it's like all... Yeah, check that out. Transparent and stuff. Oh, man. That is sweet. Come on, Kyle. Come on, Kyle. You can do it, man. Get it. Ooh, yes. Look at that one. That's beautiful. I love these crystals. These are really cool. Very interesting. I can definitely see how they'll be super clear. Put them in the water. I mean, they're already pretty clear, so. That is awesome. Number 11, wait, 11, number 11, we have Montana Agate. You can't send a box of Montana treasures without including Montana Agate. Two raw, one is a polished slab. Sweet. 11. 11. Oh, check these out, dude. Montana Agate. This reminds me a lot of some of the agate you find in Michigan on the Great Lakes. Ooh, ooh, look at the polished slab. Oh, man. Now that's gorgeous right there. That's some really cool agate. Yep. I got to go find some of that stuff because that is incredibly awesome. I'm excited for 12, y'all. Gold dog tooth calcite. You probably find better calcite, but still had to include some. These were dug out of a cave in central Montana. Dot, dot, dot. By me. Oh, that's awesome, man. I'm excited to check these out. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, baby. No, dude. No, that's really cool. Forget me finding better calcite. That's gorgeous, man. Let's get even closer to that if we can. No, that that is beautiful calcite right there. From a cave in Montana. That's really exciting to add to the collection. I do not have anything like that in my collection. Well, I have lots of calcite, but not from caves in Montana. Check it out. 13. Death plate of fish scales. Some even retain pearlescence. Yes. I love, I love that terminology, death plate. The plate of death. The, the animals all died together, being friends, having a party. And then they were buried. Oh, look at that. Ooh, yeah, you can see it. You can see that pearlescence in there. That is really awesome. Fish scales. So these are probably very old Cretaceous or something or Jurassic again. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Dude, I bet this stuff would look cool cut and polished too. I don't know if it's too fragile to do that with, but that is really awesome. 14. Polished freshwater mussel. I am a shell fanatic and love Florida shelling. So I had to include one of Montana's only shells, that fat mucket, fat mucket <laughs> muscle. I polished it 
to better display its color. Dude, when you come to Florida, you're going to find some awesome shells. And I'm going to take you to some incredible spots for that. You're going to freak out. 14. Just open it. Do not break it. Eh. Whoa, check that out. Dude, I find these fossilized in Florida, I feel like, are similar ones. Oh, look how gorgeous that looks. Look how gorgeous that color is. I don't think this is a fossil shell. I believe it's a modern one. It's very cool, though. That is very beautiful. We've made it, y'all. We've made it to the end. Open these last 15 with the star. I'm excited. Okay, how many of these do we have? We have one. 15, 2 of 15, 3 of 15, 4 of 15, and 5 of 15. Okay, so we're going to go small to large. Let's open this one first, because it is the smallest. I don't even know what this is going to be, because he didn't tell us what it is. So what is it? Whoa, is that a shark tooth? What? Wait, what? Moss agate lemon shark, dude. No way. It's literally a lemon shark tooth someone made out of moss agate. Or the Theo, they made Theo made these. I'm guessing is that that's what he did. Dude, that is crazy, man. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, this is exciting. Let's see what this one is. Ah! This is another shark tooth. Oh my gosh. Look at Montana agate. Hemipristis. Dude, he made a snaggle tooth. Oh my god. Okay, now I see why he said to open these last. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I've never even met Theo yet. He's coming to Florida pretty soon. But this guy's already a best friend, man. Like, oh, oh my god. What? <laughs> Y'all. Look at that. A sandstone megalodon shark tooth. Dude. You've got to be kidding me. You Did you make these, Theo? Dude. I am blown away right now. What? Okay, 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 okay. Let's do this one. Oh, why is it? It's doubly wrapped. A special one. Whoa, what am I looking at? Hold on, you can't see it yet. Cottonwood bark sand tiger shark. <laughs> what? Look how, oh, look how cool that is. That is just, wow, that's wicked. All right, the big boy, the big boy. Ugh. Be careful, Kyle, don't break it. Oh, dude, hold on, hold on, not yet. We'll read it first. Cottonwood bark megalodon. Look at how insanely beautiful that is, dude. You've got to be kidding me, y'all. You have got to be kidding me. I'm pretty sure Theo has like a shop too. Hopefully an online store. If he does, I'll have a link in the description below for that as well. Y'all need to check that out. Oh my goodness, dude. Well, there it is all laid out together. All the amazing stuff that Theo was just so kind to send us, man. Oh my gosh, I, I really, that's exciting. That's like one of my favorite things. Sandstone megalodon tooth. And just, oh, these beautiful fossils and geodes and crystals and all kinds of cool stuff. Man, what what a great, what a great person that Theo is, man. That is awesome. Well, y'all, I am completely blown away. When Theo said he was gonna send me a box of stuff, I did not realize it was going to be that incredibly awesome. That was way too much fun. I think this was great for a little extra video for the week, even though it's not the type of content I typically always do, but it is still very relevant to the stuff I'm interested in. So I really enjoyed doing it. I enjoyed filming it and I enjoyed filming it for y'all and I hope that y'all enjoyed it too. So if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and all that good stuff if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments below if you don't mind this every once in a while. I'd really like to do it, so hopefully y'all don't mind it as well and it's not like I said gonna be an extremely regular thing but I think it's really fun to do every once in a while and we got to see some really really cool stuff so thanks for hanging out with me for the unboxing y'all I will see y'all in the next video